Hey guys, thank you for stopping by. Uh, today I'm going to do a quick review on a Omega Seamaster 300. And uh, guys, I don't do that many reviews. But uh, this watch, I just purchased it a couple of weeks ago. And I liked it so much that I said, what the hell, let's do a review on this one. So, uh, built in 1999. Uh, Baju 7750, the watch has a caliber 1164 Omega movement, um, vibrates at 28,800 28, beats per hour, cost chronometer, helium escape valve, uh, what else, 41.5 millimeter uh, wide, 20 millimeter uh, band, and 16.5 millimeter thick. Those are the basics on the watch, and... The only reason I decided to make this uh, video is because I think this watch is on its way to being a good collectible watch. Everybody's buying the Seamaster, the Speedmaster, I'm sorry. Everybody's uh, going on the Speedy and um, Omega is releasing everything on Speedy. But they're releasing it right now because it's what's popular right now. So... I kind of like to uh, go against what's popular and what n nobody has. So this watch right now, it's not getting appreciated. And I think that if you get a chance and get one in good condition, this watch is actually in very good condition. You can see it has all the brushing, all the, all the finish, and the nice chrome. The lugs. The links you could see it, it has it's a little bit dirty, but it has the the high polish here, and then you got the satin finish on the sides. You know, I think it's a really good watch. It's wearable. It's not a monster. It wears really nice. I have a six and a half inch wrist, and it doesn't overwhelm the wrist. You know, and uh, even though it's not a uh, it's not a uh, vintage watch. You know, um, I like it. I took this one off just to do a review. This is more my cup of tea, but I'll do a review on this on this one. You know, and uh, like I say, guys, vintage Speedmasters, they're already expensive. They already gained the value they're going to gain. So right now all we could do is guess what's going to be hot tomorrow. And I'm thinking this is going to be one of the guys that's going to be hot tomorrow. You know, try to get one. Try to get one in, in, in a decent condition. If you have good boxing papers, even better. You know, and this, I know there's the other one with the, uh, with the blue bezel. And the big Seamaster horse in the back. Or Sea Monster or whatever you guys call it. It has a, a bunch of different names. This one has the small seahorse sea and it's got the chrome bezel. This is the model that I like in particular. I've been offered a bunch of the other ones. The other one was made in, in, in more quantities. So this one, I think the production was only for two years. So guys, you know, um, I, I think this is a good one to... Uh, to purchase a good one to keep in your in your watch collection you know and uh and their watches i mean everybody says i don't buy a watch for its value or for it to gain value but we all hate to lose money right so we we, we would all like to make a little bit of money on a watch you know i remember the days where i was uh 10 years old 11 years old and my dad was trading uh you know he was trading rolex daytonas for three three thousand dollars two thousand dollars now you know they're selling for for what upwards of fifty sixty thousand dollars so the 70s models the 80s models they told i'm talking about so like i say you know i think this is a good watch and um guys if you like these videos uh give me a thumbs up any question i will respond sometimes i take a little bit to respond but um i will respond to all my questions and uh subscribe if you like it and I will try to uh, make much more videos for you guys. Thanks a lot, guys. Appreciate it.